Pelican International Group or PICB is disposing of its stake in Pelican Group, whose subsidiaries produce and distribute stationery and office products throughout Europe, Latin America, the Middle East and Asia for 136 million euros or 695.44 million ringgit in cash to France's Hold'em. PICB announced the proposed deal in a board's filing today, confirming a report by The Edge this morning. Pelican Holding will also be selling its entire limited partnership interest in Pelican PBS Productions' Gesellschaft and its entire equity interest in Pelican PBS Production Verwaltungs for one euro each. Holdem will also be assuming the debts of 15.4 million euros owed by PICB to Pelican Group and the 16.38 million euros owed by Pelican Holdings to Pelican PBS Productions Gesellschaft. PICB will use 182.71 million ringgit of the 695.44 million ringgit as working capital and settlement of liabilities, repayment of bank borrowings and to cover estimated expenses from the proposed exercise. This leaves 512.72 million ringgit that it will distribute within six months from the completion of the sale, which will take place no later than October 31, 2023, via a special dividend and or a capital repayment. Amine Securities completed its reverse takeover of SYF resources en route to list on the main market of Bursa Malaysia Securities. In a statement today, the company said SYF has also changed its name to MA Equity Holdings to better reflect its new core business and future undertakings in the financial services industry. MA Securities MD Dato Biltan said, moving forward, MA Equity will explore opportunities in asset management and look into setting up a Labuan Investment Bank as part of its non-organic initiatives to support long-term growth. In the near term, the company intends to expand its corporate finance advisory business and intensify its client coverage activities to secure deal origination opportunities. It also wants to take on more initial public offering exercises and secondary offerings and grow its stock brokerage and margin financing business by further enhancing its online trading platform and broadening its client base beyond the small and medium enterprises market. As part of the exercise, SYF raised about 92.6 million ringgit, which will be used largely to repay existing intercompany advances of m and Securities and for its working capital. Malacca-based MYMBN expects to raise 20.58 million ringgit from a public issue of 98 million new shares, priced at 21 cent each. It is the first bird's nest processor to list on Bursa's ACE market. At its initial public offering prospectus launch today, MYMBN said the exercise will enable it to take advantage of the growing demand for edible bird's nest in both local and international markets and increase its raw and clean edible bird's nest processing capacity. CEO Levent Chen said the proceeds will help propel it to new heights. The company is scheduled to make its debut on July 25th. Of the total proceeds, 8.05 million ringgit will go towards business expansion and 6.6 million ringgit towards the purchase of Robert's Nests. It will set aside 1.68 million ringgit to establish three bird's nest collection centres in Sabah and Sarawak and 1.25 million ringgit to expand the processing and sale of raw clean edible bird's nests. The remaining 3 million ringgit is for listing expenses. Ace market-bound third-party ocean freight company KGW Group hopes to raise 16.73 million ringgit via its initial public offering of 79.66 million new shares at 21 cent apiece. The new shares represent some 16.5% of KGW's enlarged share capital. Existing shareholders are also conducting an offer for sale of 43.45 million KGW shares or 9% of the group's enlarged share capital, which is expected to raise gross proceeds of 9.12 million ringgit of the IPO proceeds. Seeds. KGW will utilize 10 million ringgit to repay bank borrowings, 2 million ringgit for renovation of a new operational site in Glenmarie Shah Alam, 4 million ringgit for listing expenses, and 73,000 ringgit for working capital. 
According to KGW, the pair down of borrowings will see it reduce its gearing ratio to 0.23 times from 0.7 times previously. MD Dato Roger Wong said the group is looking at growing further into China, the Middle East and parts of Asia as destination markets and in the near term put more emphasis on industrial customers and products where volumes are less affected by economic swings such as palm oil. KGW is expected to be listed on the ACE market come August. Sunway REIT Deputy Chief Executive Officer Clement Chen Kok Ping will assume the role of CEO effective tomorrow as part of the Trust's leadership succession planning. Last September, Sunway REIT announced that Chen had been named as the incoming successor to incumbent CEO Dato Jeffrey Ng Tiong Lip who had expressed his intention to retire. Ng has been serving the trust since its listing in 2010. In a filing with Borsa Malaysia today, Sunway Reid said Chen joined Sunway Group as a finance trainee in 2004 and attained his Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales qualification in 2007. He has since taken on various other roles within Sunway Group, including as the financial controller of Sunway Hatico in 2008. He was also also Assistant General Manager of Corporate Finance and Investor Relations of the group from 2009 to 2015, during which he oversaw the listing of Sunway, Sunway REIT and Sunway Construction Group.